Hello? Hi, Marion. Hey, guys. Perfect. This is uh, it's Todd with the Blue Jackets. Uh, we've got some folks on the line. Um, I'd ask if you, uh, if you have a question for Marion to uh, please uh, identify yourself, let him know um, who you're with, and uh, he'll be happy to answer your questions. So with that, I'll turn it over to you guys. Marion Hayes, Dan Rosen with NHL.com. Hey, Dan. Hey, you said yesterday after practice that you heard your name in rumors. Were you surprised today uh, that this was ha- that this happened, even though you had heard your name in rumors? And when did you catch wind that you were going to be on? That when did they ask you to waive your no trade? I guess say. Well, I mean, I I, I heard something. Uh, I heard some rumors before, like two days before, and then I just tried to focus on the game. I, I didn't really think about uh, really the trade line, quite frankly, and then uh, probably 2.15, I guess uh, it was Glenn called me, and then called me about uh, uh, um, that uh, Columbus want to make a trade, and that uh, um, I need to make a decision, and uh, I said I'll call him back, and in the meantime, I talked to John Davidson and uh, Winnie Prosco about uh, my agent and stuff, and then, then uh, I agreed to uh, to waive my uh, uh, non-trade clause. What, uh, if I could ask a follow-up, what did you hear from JD and from Vinny that convinced you that this was uh, a good place for you to go and to, to, to waive it? Well, I mean, you know, I know that. JD, that uh, he, went, he was in St. Louis, he, he tried to uh, light up that team. Uh, he, I think he did a great job there, and then he, he went to Columbus, and they got a new GM uh, as well. And uh, I talked to Vinny, and he he, uh, he had only good things to say about the team, uh, the city, the organization, um, the way they run it, and uh, you know, the, the team, and the way they've been playing. They've, they've been uh, fighting for playoff spots. Uh, they've been having great goaltending, and and uh, that I would be a good fit. So we had a good conversation about that, and and uh, you know it's nice to see the team that that uh, really wants me, and and uh, um, I made my decision up on that. This is Aaron Ports. I'm at the Columbus. Yeah, Welcome to Columbus. Thank you. Um, can you tell me what your thought process was with the no trade clause did it come together pretty quickly did you, were you did you have to think about it i know this is a, a a far different market than new york is it's probably more similar to st paul uh before what are your thoughts on on that leaving a legendary franchise such as new york well i mean you know i have i had a lot of fun here in new york um but you know uh i think uh just the way just the way that that this kind of played out uh um, I uh, I see one team that really wants me, and, and uh, the other team that uh, kind of go in different right direction that they wanted to trade me and stuff. And, and uh, um, you know, it, it's uh, clearly we we haven't been, uh, you know, when I was in New York, we haven't been performing the way we should, you know, myself included, and uh, um, uh, wasn't wasn't the way anybody expected. And uh, um, you know, it's business. I know they they tried to make uh, some decisions, some moves, and and uh, um, you know I I haven't uh, been having fun uh, uh, this year, and uh, I don't think the whole team has had uh, at all too. So uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge, and and uh, I've been playing in West, uh, and uh, this kind of reminds me of of Mini a little bit when I was there. You know, we we've been playing a tight system, tight. Uh, you know, tight defense, and, and uh, we're a hard team to play against. So, uh, I know I'm welcoming this challenge and uh, looking forward to to play there. Aaron, do you feel you? I know you. This just has not been your best uh, season so far, point wise. Do you do you feel 100 percent healthy? Does your shoulder feel good? Do you still feel like you can play as you did a couple of years ago, and you still have some some very productive years left in you? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm. Uh, I feel good. Um, you know, it's it's hard. You know, everybody everybody goes through some bumps, bumps and bruises, but but I feel fine. You know, my shoulder is fine, so I uh, uh, I feel I feel confident going to Columbus and helping the team to make playoffs. 
Thank you. Marion, it's Dan Rosen again with NHL.com. I have to ask you, um, what was your relationship with Tortorella like in the last week, two weeks, really this season, and did that lead you to want to waive the no-trade clause as well? I mean, uh, it wasn't bad. I, I think, uh, you know, the media kind of uh, make, makes a whole lot more than actually it is, you know. Uh, was just his his style of coaching. He, he's been like that uh, um, since I was here, so it's nothing was nothing new for me. It's nothing personal. Um, you know, true that sometimes we didn't see eye to eye, but that's that's it. You know, that's that's hockey. That's uh, every everybody goes through something like that uh, with with their coaches. Um, so how I said, you know, like the you know we weren't doing like we should. Um, and and uh, um, it wasn't uh, wasn't that much fun. So uh, I believe uh, this change will uh, help uh, help myself and help the team, help Columbus. And and uh, you know I, I had some I had a good time in New York. So you know it's part of hockey. I mean this is my first time getting traded. It's uh, it's, it's a little bit different. It was a little shock at first, but um, it is what it is. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing Columbus. Do we have any more questions for Marion? Marion, yeah, Mary. Go ahead, Lori. Uh, Marion, Lori Schmidt, ninety-seven point one, the fan. You obviously have uh, played with Artem and uh, Brandon Dubinsky before. Was that relationship any part of your decision making when you decided to waive your no-trade clause? Yeah, I mean, I played with those guys. I played with Artie uh, quite a bit. Uh, uh, Duby as well, but uh, I talked to Vinny. Uh, was, was uh, um, you know, most important thing that I talked to him, and, and uh, he told me nothing but good things about playing there. Um, so we had a good conversation. I texted with with Duby and Nardi a little bit as well. So uh, yeah, it's 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 good to come uh, somewhere where there are familiar faces, and and uh, um, I hear the the good group of guys out there. Um, it's a good team. So um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to to play with those guys again and uh, getting to know some new guys. Marion, this, this is Kevin Allen of USA, USA Today. Um, if this trade had been last season with the way Columbus was, would you have waived your no trade? Was it the fact they sort of changed with uh, John Davidson and a new GM that made your decision easier? Well, I mean, I think you can see the short time they were there. Uh, you know, the team is showing that they're, they're going the right direction. And, and mostly, you know, I, when I talked to Vinny there, and, uh, you know, we, we played together a couple, two or three years. So it's good to hear from them that, that he's been very honest with me uh, that they're going the right direction. And, and uh, you know, I think this is a better time than, than uh, it would have been last year for sure. Hey, Marion, it's Dan Rosen again. Uh, I, I got wondering, did you talk to Rick Nash? Yeah, I talked to uh, I talked to him just after it happened. Uh, we talked a little bit. Uh, same, you know, he he said he's a good, good place to live. Um, you know, he uh, he's been through a lot of changes uh, out there, so he hasn't he hasn't been there when uh, JD was there. But uh, he just Hi. he just talked about it. City and then uh, um, the guys that play there and then uh, um, so he said good things. Is it too early for you to consider, uh, you know, staying there long term, or is that something that you'd have to think about this summer if they came to you? Well, I think uh, you got one more year. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, this is. The trade just happened a few hours ago, so I'm just yeah. uh, still kind of trying to uh, try to uh, get used to it and, and uh, just try to take it, and give it the time and, and uh, um, a week at a time, and, and uh, hopefully it's going to work out and, and uh, I can be part of their future too. Marion, this is Aaron Portsmouth with the Columbus Dispatch again. Um, 
you're going to the Western Conference just for the rest of the season. You're going to be in the same division with the Rangers next year, Pittsburgh, Philly, those, all those teams. You cool with that? Does that excite you? How do you how do you look at that and the, the fact that this is this could be a pretty good rivalry for for a few years to come here? Yeah, the division and conference change, so it's going to be actually fun to play against those guys. I mean, uh, again, you know, I haven't really had a chance to think about it that far, but uh, um, you know, I'm sure it's, it's, it's going to be uh, going to be a challenge as well. So, um, just looking forward now to to get to Nashville and then play my first game and go from there. You're uh, you're going to play in Nashville tomorrow night, is that correct? Yes. Did you have to give anything to Mark Latesti to get your number ten? I'm Did, again? A little bit. Did you have to give up anything to get number ten from Mark Latesti? There's no uh, key in my, in my I haven't, I haven't talked to him, but I'm sure we, I'm, I'm, I would love to have some conversation with him about that. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I've heard you. I've heard they've already switched him. He's going to 55, and you're keeping 10. Uh, that would be great. So thank you. Hey, Marion, Laurie Schmidt from 97.1, the fan again. No key in my envelope. Did, uh, did you ever explain why it was Vinny you talked to from the Blue Jackets? Well, we played, we played together in New York for, I think, for two, two three, two years. So we developed a good relationship, and we we had some good, uh, we played together on the same line for quite a bit. So, uh, so I just... I, you know we're in touch. Uh, we're in touch uh, quite a bit, so I wanted to hear from him how things are there, and then he showed me that uh, I'll enjoy it, and and uh, he told me nothing but good things. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll uh, we'll click together again. Marion, any idea who you'll be playing on a line with? Say it again. Any idea who you'll be skating with tomorrow night? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I haven't talked to uh, the coach yet, so. Um, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. All right, thanks, Marion. It, it sounds like you, you, you know, that you look at this as almost like a fresh start. And you know, do you like the way your game has been in the last week or two? And do you think you can break out offensively for this team? Yeah, yeah. I feel the last couple of games, I feel really good. You know, just everything was happening, but fuck, uh, not going to that. So. Uh, um, I believe I can uh, carry it over to to my, you know, to Columbus, and then uh, just uh, just start to uh, start to score some goals and feel good, and most importantly, try to help the team to to win and to get where where it uh, wants to be. So, uh, um, you know, uh, I look at the roster. You know, it's a young team, and and uh, looking forward to to be part of it. Okay, hey everyone. Uh, thank you, Marion. Thanks for your time. I know you got to catch a plane. Um, safe travels, and everyone. I appreciate you uh, joining on short notice. Right, thank, thank you, guys. Thanks, Gabby. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.